Hello guys and welcome to Employ Your Mind. On this video we will talk about the Kaizen system. Kaizen is an approach to creating continuous improvement based on the idea that small ongoing positive changes can reap major improvements. Let's get to it. When we try to improve any aspect of our lives, and given that we should want the best for ourselves, most people set high goals for themselves, such as start working out, quit smoking, reading more, losing weight, start a business, or any other goal. I'd like to say that if your goal is a moon, shoot for the stars. Setting high goals for yourself is always good, we must be ambitious and aim high. However, sometimes and more often than we would like to think, we lose the motivation on the way to set goals and end up quitting before reaching the finish line. And what makes it all worse is that after the failure, our confidence is reduced and we feel less and less capable of achieving any future goals we set. What leads us to underestimate ourselves and overestimate the others. Do you end up not setting yourself any goals since you know you're not going to be able to achieve them? Does that sound familiar to you? Kaisen is a combination of the Japanese kanji's kai, which means change, and sen, which means good. The Kaisen method is based on the idea that small ongoing positive changes are more beneficial than big changes. To apply this method on your daily routine, you may set yourself to small goals in the short term to achieve great goals in the long term. I need to clarify now that the Kaisen system is not against setting great goals for yourself, but about setting small goals that will lead to big goals. No one days let's do a little math to better explain this. If you improve at 1% every day, at the end of the year you will be 38 times better than when the year started. If you think this is not that big of a gain, look what happens when, instead of improving, you get stuck and go backwards. If you get a 1% worse every day, at the end of the year you will be a 97% worse. This method was popularized in the 70s in Japan by introducing this approach in the production lines of the car manufacturing business, with Toyota being the pioneers in the implementations of the method. Using this method, the employees had their opinions and ideas heard to improve the production system, leading Toyota to get established as the first car manufacturer at the time, over the likes of Ford and other American companies that had led the business up until then. The question we must ask ourselves is, what small steps can I take to improve whatever I'm trying to do? Small steps are the key, so the first thing you need to do is simplify in the task. And remember, simplify. Whatever your goal is, it can be simplified in small tasks. Let's say you want to run a marathon. A marathon is 26.2 miles, but you can do such thing without preparing. In order to prepare for such long run, you can start by running 2 miles the first week, 5 miles in the second week, 8 miles on the third week, and so on until reaching your goal of 26.2 miles. Another good example is to quit smoking. The traditional method would be to simply stop smoking. Sometimes it works, but let's be honest, how many people give up at some point? If you want to do that, and you know you can do it, that is perfect. But if you are in the 80% of the people that don't make it using this method, how about instead of setting that ambitious goal for yourself, just start by snapping the cigarette in half every time you have one? Or how about instead of having a smoke in the morning, you wait until your first break at work? Or how about you pass on the cigarette you have after dinner? Or let's say you want to read more, one book a week for example. You can set yourself to read one chapter a day for the first week and increase the number of chapters progressively until you can read one book a week. As you can see, by simplifying instead of sprinting towards your goal, you build up to it step by step. I am sure you can still find flaws in this method, but listen to this. When you take a small step towards your goal, it barely takes any effort or willpower from you, which makes it easy to do. Keep doing this and you will build a habit, and little by little, your step towards your goal will be bigger and bigger. Thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you on the next video.